Hi there. Today I'm going to show you some of the basics when using CoSpaces. When you first open up a new space or a scene, this is what you'll see. It's pretty much nothing, except for the camera that we've got here in the middle. The first thing you probably want to do is change the environment. So if you click down here, you've got a variety of options. Um, let's make a simple environment of a desert. And you can see there's sand dunes all around. Um, you can also change the weather to nighttime, um, to cloudy, or to sunny. Um, you have the options of adding some background sound or in, if you really want um, an image to go on the ground. Once you've set the environment and the mood, the next thing to do in our space is to add some objects to it. So if we click on the library, we can see the options that we have available to us. We have a variety of characters, animals, um, objects that go into houses and even houses themselves and buildings. We have lots of objects from nature, um, transportation, so vehicles and other things that move, lots of other everyday items, and probably the most useful one is the building section, which allows us to take various blocks and objects um, and build what we want with them. We're going to start today with the brick wall. I'm going to place it in front of the camera now. You'll notice that when you do place a new object, you've got these arrows here. These arrows allow you to stretch the object up um, to the left, to the right, or um, the front and back, and you can make the object um, any way you'd like. The other option you've got without doing anything else is to rotate it. However, that's not the only way that you can rotate an object. If you click up here, you're able to rotate it um, this way, or you're able to also rotate it this way. Um, if you want to in make the object smaller or bigger and keep it to scale, um, you click on this and drag to the left or the right to change the size. You can also use this up and down arrow to lift the object up or down. There are a lot of different options that you have to manipulate the shapes um, in CoSpaces. Another neat feature of CoSpaces is, is that you can attach objects to each other. Let's try it with this boy here. I'm going to drag him out into our space and I'm going to go and look for an item. Let's use um, this wooden spoon. Um, if I want to attach the wooden spoon to the boy's hand, I click, right click on the bo on the wooden spoon, click attach, and now you'll see a bunch of different um, options come up, and you'll see that I can attach the spoon to the boy's head, his eyes, or his left or right hand. I'm going to pick his um, right hand, and as you'll see. Now, if you go in, if we zoom in closely, the spoon is in the boy's hand. This is kind of boring because the boy is just standing there. So let's double click on the boy and click on animation. There's a lot of different options that you have here. Um, let's look at his actions. Let's have him talk excited. So when we see him talking excited, you see, um, let's try that again. Yeah. If we press play, you'll see that the boy is moving with the spoon in his hand, which is a really neat feature that we have. One problem that can sometimes occur when you're using CoSpaces, um, if you try to rotate and accidentally click on an object, is the object gets moved. Now it's fairly easy to put that back by either clicking undo or control Z, but an easier solution to that is to lock the objects in place that you don't want moved, specifically things that you're building um, like walls or other um, permanent structures. So you can easily right click and click on lock for all of these objects. And then next time when you try to rotate, those items will stay in place. The last thing that I'm going to show you today is how to make a new scene and how to rename your scenes. Um, you'll notice this little tab out here. If you click on the kind of the image one, you have the option of changing your name. So I'm just going to change it to my first space and I'm going to change this to my first scene. 
you can now add, um, if you look on the bottom, it says new scene there. So you can click on that. And every time you have a new scene, you'll get the choice of um, a 3D environment or a 360 degree image. Um, my suggestion to you is as a beginner, to pick the 3D environment unless you are well versed in the use of, of 360 degree images. Um, and that's a pretty cool thing that CoSpaces can do. Um, so basically each new scene will come across as blank and like other scenes you can choose um, the environment. So let's have a maybe the exact opposite of the desert and have the ocean. And I'm gonna call this scene ocean. Oh, that this has allowed you to kind of start playing around and learning some of the new features, other features of CoSpaces. Um, happy creating.